Hello my friends, John Sakar is here. I just received a message, let me read it to you. John, do you ever feel so overwhelmed with helpless sadness about how animals are treated day in and day out? Today is a tough day for me, man. Very overwhelmed with frustration, anger, and soul-draining agony. Hmm. I, rather than just write a quick response, I thought I'd make a video uh, for you, my friend, and for others to listen to, because I know this is very common in the animal rights vegan community for people to feel sad. So let me talk to you a little bit about how I deal with sadness, because I love the vegan community. I love all my vegan friends, and I I feel bad that you're feeling sad. So I want to try and make you help help you feel better. First of all, we are humans, and you know, part of being human is feeling a variety of different emotions, and sometimes you need to feel the lows to feel the highs. And so that comes with the territory of being human and with being a, a compassionate person, with feeling empathy. So be grateful that you feel empathy and that you're feeling some pain. If it was, if animal cruelty didn't bother you at all, then that'd be something to be concerned about. So, you know, it's perfectly natural and healthy for you to feel sad about it. Realize that you're not alone. So that can help you to feel that you're in good company. There are millions of people all around the world who are feeling your pain. You know, I'm feeling your pain. I know about all the cruelty going on. And so I feel sad about that as well. So you're not alone. And realize you can use the sadness and the anger to do good things in the world. You can channel that into uh, activism it can fuel you. You can go out and do things to, you're not, you're not, a, uh, it's not a helpless situation. You can help. We need you to help. You can go handle leaflets, take part in a demonstration. Oh, for leaflets, you can order them from veganoutreach.org. That's one group that can send them to you. Uh, take part in demonstrations. You can cook vegan food and share it with people. You can wear a vegan t-shirt and wear it out in public and spread the vegan message. You can share videos through social networking like uh, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. And so there's lots of activism you can do all the time. You can even just write a, a status update on Facebook and talk about how you're feeling and, and you know, uh, send me a message and, uh, you know, talk to people about this. And I know sometimes with family, it can be hard. I, I, in my family, I'm the only one who's vegan. Everyone in my family eats animals. So sometimes talking to my family, uh, it doesn't work so well. So that's what is really great about the internet is uh, you can communicate with like-minded people. And so the vegans are your family. You know, know that you have a worldwide vegan family who is always with you. And uh, so even if your own family thinks you're nuts, then the vegan family, we don't think you're nuts. So talk to people in your vegan family. And I, something that helps with me is being creative. I like to be creative. I like to make videos. That's something to consider if you can get a, a webcam or a cheap camera. And then I just use Windows Movie Maker. It's really simple to make videos. Like I'm making one right now. Or you could do artwork, you know, I, or write, uh, have a blog or just write a note on Facebook or something and, and uh, express yourself. And sometimes I'm actually, I, I'm grateful sometimes when I'm feeling sad because I'll turn on the video camera and I like to capture emotion and it makes my videos, you know, more powerful. So I think I said all I had to say. I hope that helps you out a little bit. And also realize that, uh, you know, every, don't feel that you have to watch all these awful videos. You know, sometimes it's good to watch them because it can give you you know, you know, but need to know about the cruelty that's going on, and uh, it can motivate you to get out there and do activism. But some people watch too many of these videos, and it can be depressing. So I don't watch every video that someone posts on my wall. You know, it'd be too much. I, I, there's sometimes people will post something, and I just don't, I don't want to watch it. You know, we we uh, don't want to drive ourselves crazy because we really feel things. Uh, we vegan superheroes, we feel things, and uh, sometimes we can see something, and it can stay with us haunt us forever. And so uh, take care of yourself. You know, we need you for the long haul. And I, uh, you know, you have to protect yourself and not look at too many awful things. And one thing that would cheer you up too is I believe that we're gonna have a vegan world very quickly. I think veganism is growing exponentially. Just think, uh, let's say 1% of the population is vegan right now. And if every vegan gets one person to go vegan every year, then the vegan community will double every year. 
And so there'll be exponential growth. So 1%, 2%, 4%, 8%, 16%, 32%, 64%, and then 100% vegan. And so we could have a vegan world in eight years. And so realize that this is, uh, this is a very, very dark time that we're going through, that we're really in the dark ages here on planet Earth. But things are going to get better. Things are getting better. I'm hearing of new people going vegan all the time. So don't worry, everything's going to be okay. And, and so uh, I love you. I love everybody in the vegan community. And take care of yourself. And uh, thank you for everything you do to help animals.